That's a bit lazy. You could at least write a completely different letter. Hi, it's me again, and I'm back with one of my favourite types of videos to do. I love talking about the letters, the ridiculous letters that TV licensing send out to try and scare you into paying for something that you may very well not need. No other company operates like this, and I love talking about the letters to show everyone out there how ridiculous they can be. And you all send me your letters as well. The amount of emails I get from you brilliant people with your letters is fantastic. And I've got one here I haven't seen before. I've seen it before, but not in this guise. Have a look at the, the main title, look. Are your customers or staff watching TV programs at this unlicensed property? So this is what the whole letter looks like, and it's, it's quite similar. And here we recognize that from one of the normal letters that gets sent to your home, but this one says unlicensed business right at the top. So they're really trying to maximize their target audience for threatening letters, aren't they? But you'd think they could at least write a completely new letter. A lot of this is copy and pasted from the other one. Lazy, laziness, isn't it? But let's go through it anyway, because you may very well have received this if you've got a business and be a bit concerned about it. And rightly so, these letters are written in a manner to make you feel concerned, to make you buy their service. So I'm gonna break it down, let you know what it's all about, what you need to do about it, if you got one. So let's read the first bit. Dear Sir Madam, our records show that your business address does not currently have a TV license. This means it is against the law for you, your staff or your customers to plug in and watch or record live TV programs on any channel or to download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer. So that's actually quite fair for them. Nothing scary or threatening in there yet. That is the truth. Right? If you don't have a television license at your premises, you can't watch or record anything that's being broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. If you've got a cafe or something and your customers are sitting there with their iPads or their laptops or their phones and they happen to put BBC iPlayer on, if they've got a television license at home, they can watch iPlayer and live TV on your premises, even though you're unlicensed, but they can't be plugged into the mains. What the most ridiculous rule in the world. You can plug into a power bank if you want, but you can't plug in to the mains. Ridiculous. So yeah, actually that's quite fair dues so far. Let's see if it does get threatening though. It must at some point, right? Please get in touch straight away if your business needs a license. If you need to move a license from an old business address or if your business doesn't need a license, please let us know at TV license slash no TV. I'm starting to be concerned that they're not gonna try and scare us into buying a license for our premises here. This is, this is new. Are they learning from, from previous experience with the letters? No, no, I don't think they're capable, are they? What happens next? If we don't hear from you by a certain date, this address will be passed to our enforcement division for investigation. If they find evidence of illegal TV viewing on your premises, your business risks being prosecuted. There it is, it had to be in there somewhere, but at least they buried it at the bottom that time. And I've seen a few, there's a few cafes and stuff now that have got signs up saying, we don't have a TV license, you can't do this, you can't do that, which is great, they're protecting themselves. I mean, you can't control everything your customers do on your premises, right? But if they have a television license at home, as I said, they can on their phone watch iPlayer or access live TV, as long as they've got their own television license and they're not plugged into the wall. Right, so this is the important bit here. If we don't hear from you by a certain date, this address will be passed to our enforcement division for investigation. Now, normally, when something is said like that, it's normally for your home, right? And the standard advice would be, if a TV license goes knocks on your door, you open the door, say, hello, who are you? Hi, I'm from TV license. You just close the door, say, no, thank you. Be polite, but say, no, thank you, close the door, and they will toddle off, and there's nothing they can do. But if you've got a cafe or a pub or something, they can walk in and introduce themselves. And it might not be you, you know, the, uh, the proprietor who is up on this that initially speaks to them. It could be a member of your staff. So it's best to speak to your staff and brief them that if a TV license enforcement officer does turn up, you say, no, thank you. And you ask them to leave the premises. They've got no right to be there and you don't want to buy their service. That would be the best way to deal with them if you have a business. If they start walking around looking at people sitting at your cafe tables who have got their laptops or their iPads out, ask them, ask them to move along. But if I had a cafe or a pub or something like that where people would come and sit, I would personally put a sign up saying, you can't watch live TV in here if you're plugged in, blah, blah, blah. But I haven't heard any horror stories about businesses and their investigations. 
I haven't, I really haven't heard any horror stories about it. If you know of any horror stories, please do let me know. I'm quite active in this sphere, and I haven't really heard too much about it, to be honest. So what else have we got on here? Because there's a couple of bits. Look, it says, there's a big circle. Please reply by this date to avoid an investigation. But the important bit is, they don't know who the proprietor is or anything. It just says the proprietor or manager at the business at the top there. So, um, yeah, it's a tricky one because, as I say, when they're targeting your home for their investigation, and their investigation, if you didn't know, all they can do is ask. That's all they can do. All the people that have been prosecuted for TV licence offences, that's come about by a TV licence enforcement officer, a goon, a door-to-door -door salesman is what I call them, it's come about by them talking to you and you dropping yourself in it. Now, at home, it's easy to do. You can just close the door, say, no, thank you, go away. In your business, it would be beneficial, I think, to brief your staff that if one turns up, ask them to leave immediately and don't talk to them. I think that's, uh, I think that's all you need to do and you'll be fine. Now, I never condone watching stuff you shouldn't be watching without a television license, but in this case, it's tricky because you've got a coffee shop or whatever and someone's sitting in there, got their laptop plugged into the wall and they're watching iPlayer or live TV. Yeah, I mean, if you don't see them, would an enforcement officer I mean, the, the odds of getting an enforcement visit are quite slim. There isn't that many of them and they do tend to target residential properties more than commercial properties because that's where the money is from. These people earn commission. Yeah, I think, what is it, 25 quid per sale or fine or whatever. They get, and it's a numbers game for them. So they haven't got time to be messing around with too many businesses. If there's one in the area that they happen to be visiting that day, you may very well still get a visit. Just ask them to go away. Just ask them to go away and maybe put a sign up in your property as well. But um, yeah, it's I, the scummy tactics also reach out to businesses now. Most businesses who are really struggling at the moment, and uh, this would cheer you up if you got it. I mean, bloody TV licensing. Let me know if you run a business what you do about it. If you've got a coffee shop or a cafe or a pub or something, let me know how you would handle this down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, because that way, hopefully, I'll see you in another video again soon. Ta-da.